Hey, what's good, guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. So, I'm very, very sorry about just disappearing for a few weeks. Um, I have some pretty good excuses, I would say. Um, got a little bit of an update for you. It's going to be a more, like, serious video, I guess. So, um, haven't really gone too in-depth about it, but I've been kind of sick for, like, four months now, and uh, it kind of makes it hard to make videos sometimes. So, basically, I inhaled some shit from a wildfire, some smoke, all night, and it fucked my lungs up a little bit. So I've been really, really just not feeling too good. And then four days ago, I woke up with the flu. So that combined with that is just a horrible combo. So it's kind of fucked with me making videos. And just the last four months in general, it's been hard to uh, make videos because of it. But I'm alive. I'm not like, you know, threatened or anything. I'm doing okay. And it's gotten a little bit better. But that whole flu thing kind of put me on my ass too. And also this morning, I woke up to an email from my YouTube network being like, yo, dude, you got like 80 videos with uh, music snippets in them that are copyrighted now, and you can't have them anymore, so take care of that shit. I basically got an email saying, delete the videos or show proof of permission for all 80 of them, and maybe nothing will happen. Basically, I have till like 12 p.m. tomorrow to know if anything's going to happen with that. I don't know. It could be really, really minor. Like I could get a couple videos taken down. I could have to delete a few videos. I could have my channel threatened. I don't know. Like It's a lot of shit. And I did not want to wake up and deal with that today, but YouTube just enjoys fucking me lately. I don't know. I don't know what will happen. Like I said, it could be nothing. It could be something pretty extreme. I have no idea. We'll know more tomorrow. I'll keep you posted on that. It's definitely partly my fault for even using music in the first place in some of my videos. I just like to do that for like 5-10 seconds of the outro. But for some reason, it still came back to bite me in the ass. But they were really old videos, so back then I didn't really have a good knowledge of YouTube and copyright. But I don't know. We'll see what happens. Wish me luck, guys. I really fucking hope it doesn't result in anything extreme. Like, I would hate for something to happen to this channel. But um, anyway, that's why I haven't been uploading. I have been very sick. Felt like shit. Um, just, it's been a really weird, weird few months. Kind of sucks, but I don't know. Hopefully it gets better in the next coming months. But today I'm doing a QA. and a um, This is an Instagram-specific q and I'm only doing questions on Instagram for this video. So if you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, make sure you go follow my Instagram. It'll be top link in the description. I'm almost at 100K. I'll be doing another Q&A on Instagram very soon. And it's a lot easier to reply to comments on there. So go check that out. Anyway, I'm going to start this off. First question. Sean wants to know, how has your life been since you've moved to Cali? Well, um, from the intro, you can kind of tell that it's been a little bit eventful. It's been pretty... Um, I don't know. It hasn't been that good. The beginning was really awesome, but lately it's been pretty shitty. There's definitely a high chance I'm moving back to New York soon because Cali is just not for me. Wiz Kaluka wants to know, do you have any girls you're into or dating? I'm not currently dating anybody. I got out of a pretty long relationship somewhat recently. And since then, I've just kind of been focusing on myself. So I guess no. Ethan wants to know, are you ever going to do a shoe slash clothing collection tour or some shit like that? Sounds cringy, but I'm trying to see what you got. Plus, you can flex. I don't really know if I'm ever going to do like a collection video because a lot of people aren't into that stuff. I know a lot of people would be, but there's also a lot that probably wouldn't be. I don't know. It's kind of up to you guys. Would you really want to see something like that? And plus, I've kind of been falling out of the whole like clothes and shoe stuff. Like I haven't really been that into it lately. Um, I don't really like to flex though. Like, I don't know, like I would never make a video with the sole purpose to be like, oh, this video is going to be so fun to make just because I get to flex all this cool stuff that I have. Like, nah, fuck that. I don't like people that do that shit. I just like to, you know, like do it for me. I think it looks cool. So I wear it, but it's never the intention to be like, oh, look at this money I have. You know what I mean? Like, I think that shit's so lame. Some of the most expensive stuff is the ugliest too. So if you buy stuff just because it's expensive, you're kind of a dork. I don't know though, man, if you want to see that and if anyone else wants to see that, let me know. Maybe I could do that. Maybe on the second channel, it'd be a good video to make. We'll see. Zach, Zach, attack, Zacherson. Nice Instagram name. He asked me, where the fuck is the new video? Right here, dude. Aaron wants to know, what's your favorite SpongeBob SquarePants episode? I don't know. Probably the movie or the one about Gary leaving. That one was pretty emotional. Really got to my heart. Ooh, this next question is pretty controversial. Um, 40 Crab wants to know, what are your thoughts about gun control? Okay, this question. Honestly, I have no idea. I'm pretty in the middle with it all. There's a side of me that's like, okay, everything that's been happening in the U.S. lately is really fucked up. There needs to be stricter gun control. 
But at the same time, I also think sometimes if people had a gun and it was owned legally and they had their permit or license or whatever, and someone came into a store or somewhere with, you know, an illegally owned gun and started just like trying to shoot people, that person could possibly stop the shooter way faster than calling the police and waiting five to 10 minutes for them to get there and stop him themselves. But, you know, it really depends on the person. It depends on mental health, stuff like that. Like, they do need to make it stricter, and they need to make evaluations on people before they just hand out licenses for guns like that. Specifically, mental health evaluations, because if someone doesn't seem all there, you don't want to hand them the ability to buy a weapon legally. But as for, like, the M4 thing, why does anyone need to own an M4? Like, I'm sorry, like, you can hunt with a hunting rifle, you can have a little pistol, all legal, but... An M4? Why do you need to legally own an M4? Like, what are you going to use that for, dude? But anyway, that's pretty much my take on it. I think mental health needs to be taken more seriously, especially when it comes to guns and gun control. But next question, Zach wants to know, when did you make your first ever YouTube channel? I can't remember the exact date, but I've been doing YouTube for well over eight years on other channels, stuff like that. Um, my first video I made, I think I was under 10 years old, so... It's been a long time. It's Gia wants to know, if you had the opportunity to travel anywhere for a day, where would you go and why? Probably back to my hometown in New York because I haven't seen my family or friends in like four months because of the sickness that I've had. I can't really fly. So yeah, as soon as that goes away, that's where I'm flying. It's Gia also asked me, if you had a week left to live, how would you spend it? Probably the exact same as I spend all of my weeks, like probably sitting on my computer, playing Fortnite and other video games, eating fast food, and just sitting here. I don't know. Probably hanging out with some friends. I don't know. That would suck. I feel like I couldn't even be happy if I knew I was about to die in a week. Hunter wants to know what's going on health-wise. So specifically, um, what's going on with me? Basically, a few months ago, a pretty big wildfire broke out near me in California. If you live near California or in California, you probably know all about wildfires and the ones that just happened. Or you might have saw them on the news if you live somewhere else. But there was a pretty fucking big wildfire that broke out here, and there was a couple other smaller ones with that that broke out. So it was just like a fucking big hellhole in California near LA, and the smoke and shit kind of just seeped over to where I'm from. And I was sleeping one night. I went to bed one night, didn't think anything was going on, didn't know because it was dark out, so I didn't see any smoke. And I slept like a solid fucking eight hours, and I woke up that morning, and I could just feel something wrong with me. It felt like my lungs had like glass in them. It hurt so bad. And my throat hurt too. And it just burned. It felt so uncomfortable. And I was like, yep, there's definitely a fire nearby. That feels like I inhaled smoke. And sure enough, I went on Google and I see fucking videos of goddamn like the mountains on fire and shit. And I was like, what the fuck? And I got pretty unlucky with that because my body is pretty bad at fighting off things. Like almost everyone's going to have some sort of like sore lung or throat issue after breathing in smoke from a fire. But usually after a couple of days, it kind of resolves itself. Mine just decided to latch on to me and take fucking forever to even get somewhat better. And here we are four months later and it's still not all the way healed. And I also got the flu, so mix that with sickness. It's not fun. But there's people that have it worse than me, man. I can't complain. I'm going to be as grateful as I can in this situation because there's people that are literally fucking dying. So, hey, as long as I wake up to see another day, I am very grateful. But that's pretty much what's been going on with me health-wise. So next question is from January. He said, what do you plan on doing in the future? Were you serious about working on music? If so, I'm sure you'd have tons of support with that. Good luck with the channel, by the way. Um, I plan on doing music in YouTube. And yeah, I was really serious about music. I do want to make music. I don't know when it's coming. Hopefully really soon. It's just been hard because the studio that I work out of is in New York and I'm in LA and I can't fly home yet. But as soon as I can fly there, you guys will be the first to hear some stuff and hopefully you like it. I don't know. I'm not going to be like that guy. You know what I mean? Like there's YouTubers that make music like, you know, Logan Paul and Jake Paul and it's like some YouTuber music. I'm separating the two. There's going to be YouTube me and then music me and they're going to be separated because I cannot stand when YouTubers just try and become music artists and then like think that they're the shit, you know what I mean, like, I'm not gonna drop 250k on Gucci Versus, I'm not gonna sit here and flex like I'm some fucking billionaire, but, uh, I'm gonna speak the truth. Van Nam wants to know, if your channel gets taken down, would you use your second channel or make a new one? Well, the sad thing is, if my channel got deleted, um, I think YouTube rule is, you can't have another one, so I'm guessing if my channel got deleted, then so would my second channel, and I don't think I could make a new one, but, I don't know, hopefully it doesn't come to that, man. If it did, I don't know, I'd try and find a way around it. But I don't know. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the Q&A slash update video today. Sorry about making another update video, but I felt like you guys deserved an explanation. And I seriously hate taking long breaks like that, but I felt it was needed. 
and hopefully I feel better really soon and I can just get back into the daily grind. But thank you guys so much for the continuous support. I will have way more story time videos coming out this week because while I wasn't uploading the last couple weeks, I have had some things happen to me that are pretty interesting and I think would make for good story time videos. So I hope you guys are hyped for that. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the end of the Q&A. Make sure you follow my Instagram. It's in the description if you want to be in the next Q&A. Leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed this Q&A slash update. I'll see you guys all later. Peace.